Gamers everywhere, hold on to your pants for the best part of the Doom Eternal gameplay reveal. If this doesn't get you excited for the game, I'm really not sure what will. Hey everyone, this is Geek Cosmos with a rundown of the Doom Eternal gameplay reveal at QuakeCon. After a tiny teaser that revealed Doom Eternal to the world at this year's E3, Bethesda and id Software took to the QuakeCon stage yesterday to provide us with an in-depth look at the game. With several minutes of the gory, high adrenaline, rip and tear gameplay that we've all come to expect from the series. The footage reveals quite a few ways in which the sequel to 2016's Doom reboot aims to improve upon the original. Let's take a look at them right now. First up, the protagonist, our friendly neighborhood Doom Guy, or Doom Slayer as he's being called now, will be toting a large retractable blade in his left gauntlet. Very reminiscent of the Predator's blades, though at this point it seems more of a cosmetic change than one that will add value to the gameplay. A substitute for his fists to be shown in melee glory kills, that is. Next up, we were given a look at new as well as modified weapons, including the Ballista, which is basically an oversized crossbow with explosive bolts, and an even more badass variant of the fan favorite Super Shotgun that has a frickin' grappling hook, or meat hook as they're calling it, attached to its bottom. The meat hook can be used to latch onto an enemy, after which players can either pull themselves toward the enemy or unlatch mid-pull to get around the stage. There's a new, exciting, Dark Souls-like multiplayer element that will allow other players to invade your single-player campaign as demons, though this feature can be turned off if you'd rather only play against AI. And then of course we have new demons to kill, including the Arachnatron, Pain Elemental and Archvile all making a return from Doom 2, as well as all new additions such as this number, and the Marauder, which as Bethesda points out holds quite a resemblance to the Doom Slayer. Apparently there's a story behind it, so it seems there's a bit of lore to delve into this time around. Talking of demons, a kick-ass new gameplay mechanic id Software is calling Destructible Demons will display damage on the character models of enemies as you empty your clips into them. A perfect example of this would be this clip showing a Baron of Hell persevering through a particularly rough day with fire seeping out of his wounds. The Slayer seems to have become more limber as well. He's picked up a couple of new parkour skills in his time off before the sequel, as he can be seen swinging across poles and climbing certain walls like frickin' Spider-Man. And finally, there is the best part of the entire gameplay reveal, where the Archvile makes a grand entrance, seething in flames, as our hero reaches down into his fanny pack to retrieve what is likely the Crucible from the endgame of 2016's Doom, and summons Kylo Ren's lightsaber from its tip in the most badass way possible. This, along with the invasions and the meat hook, are the three things that I am looking forward to the most. What about you? What about this Doom Eternal gameplay reveal has you excited? Let me know in the comments section below. If you like this video, do leave a like, maybe even subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified the next time I upload a video. If you didn't, leave a dislike along with some helpful feedback. And with that, I wish you a nice day and hope to see you again soon in my next video.